Okay, today I thought I'd just do a quick video showing uh, the things, the projects that I made using this month's scrappery, um, or last month's scrappery uh, kit, which was the Claudia kit. And of, although I share on Instagram and Facebook, um, I thought I would just, yeah, do a quick video showing you all the different things I created. So this is a thing that I posted on the blog uh, this week. Yeah, so I share all my stuff on the blog as well. And it's a project life spread, so it's sort of a one and a half, I guess, page spread, if you like. So I'm just sort of trialing, sorry, this camera set up, so hopefully you can see that without too much glare. As I said, there are clearer photos without the protector on the blog that you can have a look at. Uh, this protector is an H protector, and it's ideal for when you have a few extra photos than just to fit on a, on a page, but not a double. So that will just go my album like so, and then I'll put other things on the back of that and so on okay so that's the most recent project I did then the one prior to that was this cut file that I did using a cut file from the cut shop which is some gorgeous um, gorgeous star background and you can see I've laid it with extra stars and put the beautiful pattern paper behind and laid the photo as well so and on here I use some perfect pearls just to give them a bit of a white sheen not sure how well it'll pick up in the video because uh, it didn't really pick up very well in the photos but yeah really happy with that page is different um, this is probably my favorite actual layout from the entire kit that from working with this kit um, a 9 by 12 layout that I did um, that is a photo of my daughter and one of her best friends and they've actually known each other since they were babies from my mother's group which is lovely and um, yeah I think it's just a really pretty page and I love how it turned out it's just uh, probably my favorite this one uh, is an interesting way to use alphas we had a pack of um, numbers in, in the pickers and um, I was just trying to look for an interesting way to use those up numbers of, of of course really good for project life and for birthdays and things like that but um yeah i just decided to make a background out of them i want to keep i love white on white as you probably noticed and i liked that these just created a interesting yet subtle background this is a photo of um my daughter's this one in here and she's 18 and she's um for her calisthenics competition this is one of their outfits so yeah really happy with that one too just realised my daughter's featured in most of these things this month. Um, sorry, a bit of fluff on there. This one here, um, really different. That's going to bother me. Different again. Um, I mainly worked with the sort of, although the pink fresh um, paper is generally quite pretty, it was quite a grungy design with these sort of semicircle um, black shapes and then the um, lighter splats. So I decided to stick with the grungy sort of look by complementing that with some yellow um, and extra black uh, ink and just layering again so sort of semi pretty but grungy my f it's this photo of my sister sorry my, my daughter um, in the city in Melbourne um, I'm just trying to remember the name of Har is it Hardware Lane I think that's what it's called yeah. this is a layout actually that didn't make the cut for my scrappery blog posts or Instagram um, it's a really hard one to photograph because there's a lot of glare already on these photos. They're great photos um, of my son being funny at the Melbourne Museum with spiders. And, but of course the spiders are behind the glass and therefore there's a lot of um, glare on the photos. And yeah, I guess the page probably, it'll still go in my album but it's probably just not my favourite. Um, I was My aim for this particular page was to, of course, scrap these photos, but to show that these papers can be used as something more grungy and more perhaps boyish. Um, and that's where I was going with this one. So I added a bit more orange to pick up what's already in the kit and just turn it a bit more, I guess, masculine than feminine. Okay, so as I said, it didn't make the cut, but you're seeing it here. And the first thing I'd done with this kit was actually, I believe it's my first thing I did with this particular kit, was my planner spread. So as some of you may or may not know if you follow me, is that I got an Erin Condren planner um, for next year, 2017. This is the front of the planner. And... It, I actually um, paid a little bit extra to get the rest of this year, so the last three months or four months or whatever it was. So um, I, yeah, started off by decorating. I do have lots of sticker kits that you get on Etsy and things, but I also do like to use just stuff from my scrapping kits and my paper. Um, this pink fresh set was perfect um, designed for planners, so it worked out really well. So all in all, um, I've just written down to the side here what 
I did five layouts, one of which um, is a 9 by 12 and the other four are 12 by 12 I did one project life spread and one planner spread. So I thought I'd also show you what I actually have left over from the kit um, after completing that amount, of, um, that, that amount of projects. Of course I've got the washi which um, you know, they're great rolls of washi. You can see they're really, these are two from Pink Fresh. I'm not sure about this one, additional one. Um, but they're really generous rolls. So, you know, you're going to have those. Sorry if you can't see that. You're going to have them for a long time um, and continually use them. So I've just got these packed up. So what I do after, once I get my next month's kit, which I move into my little storage bin that I use, it was from Officeworks, um, similar to the um, kit that people use you know, have in America the plastic storage tub. I um, once I'm finished with this month's kit, I move it into just that pocket lock I had it in, and um, keep it aside for a little while because there's still heaps left, and I might use it to complement my um, extra layouts, well, my layouts for this month using this month's kit. So still heaps of numbers, even though I used a lot of those. Um, the gold stickers again, use them for a few titles. But heaps left. Um, I use this for I think one layout, the Indigo Hills um, Pinkfresh Blue Alphas, which really unusual um, sh texture, and I really like those too. But again, just you know, it depends on what you're doing, what layout. Loved these stickers. I did use those a couple times as well, um, but still plenty left. So you can see I don't have a lot of paper left. I will show you the bits of paper I've got left. These are the um, puppy stickers. When I don't have a full packet anymore, I generally cut them up um, because once I decide to um, migrate this kit from the plastic pocket to my stash, I'll just put these in little tubs and things. Quite a few of the wooden planner, which I love and I'll use on my planner, but keeping them there for now. Still some of the planner stickers, which I loved those. Um, there was three pages and I sort of made a really good dig into those. The ephemera pieces, again, used a fair bit, but there were so many. Um, the cork hearts loved and used lots, but still have heaps, so that's good too. A few of the um, Jodie Corbett's Creations um, wood veneer pieces. And some of her um, acrylic pieces, which I love both, and I think I've used some of each, but again, have lots. So I'll just, again, you know, use some of the packs on this kit. Some bits of fabric that um, I got, which was used to wrap the kit, and I still have got some of the tissue, but I have put that away in my tissue stash, and a bit of trim, which I didn't use. Uh, rubber charms. I used one or two. One must be one big one for a planner charm that I I made. Um, but yeah, they're probably not my favourite. If I'm being completely honest, nothing against the pink fresh ones or anything like that. And um, lots of people love them. They're just not my personal taste. Still quite a bit of vellum. I did get um, two pieces of this because I get the three kits, which is the main scrapery kit, the Project Live kit, uh, which is the pretty little kit, and the BPK, which is the bits and pieces. So, um, yeah, I got two bits of that. This is the paper that I've mostly got left. So there's no large pieces, but I could certainly still make, um, you know, layouts, punching shapes, um, grid design, that type of thing. But I... There were big enough pieces that I was happy to keep and punch out and still heaps of sequins, which I did use a lot of as well, but still have heaps. And that will mainly be because, again, I get three kits, so I get a bit of a, you know, a fair bit of stuff there. So that's it. So um, I just want to share with you so that I think I made a fair amount of um, projects with this month's kit and I still have heaps. I just want to show absolutely how generous um, the kits are. Renel does a, um, a fantastic job of making sure we get bits and pieces of everything um, and you know it all coordinates beautifully so thanks for watching bye <music>